Hello, open formers, YouTubers. Yeah, the mic's working. Okay, good. Um, yes. Hello, um, everyone. So, welcome back. We are at the ninth part of uh, doing boy and pimple foam, and we have just successfully debugged, and I have uh, gotten us running 100 seconds of simulation. Okay, 100 seconds of simulation. Um, and I've transferred it, of course, over to my other computer, which I usually like to use. Um, all right, and I'm going to do clear. And let's go to uh, time varying cavity foam. And let's take a look at the, the buoyant pimple foam log. Yeah. And we'll go all the way to the end. All right, we see we see that it takes about fifty one hundred seconds or five oh five hundred or five oh six hundred, and if we use a calculator, let's see how long this actually took. Okay, so the difference between clock time and execution time. Clock time is okay, difference between the start and end time, literally, where you um, start the simulation, let's say at four o'clock, and then you end it at six o'clock. The clock time is two hours. All right, so it's literally counting the time, but execution time counts how much the how much time the CPU is actually working. So, for example, if your computer goes into some sort of a standby mode or turns off and then or some sleep mode, and then Open Foam stops working. However, the clock time is still running. So there was a good amount of time, maybe like two hours, where the computer wasn't working at all because it was on standby mode or something. But um, that that's what it is. So. Let's do 51,000 divided by 3600. Okay, so we see that it took about 14 hours, not too far from our initial prediction. And if you just take a look at the clock time, it took about 12 hours. Okay, sure. So this is how long the simulation took, which is pretty reasonable. Okay, and this right screen is just me uh, pulling stuff off Git. Okay. So we'll run to run Paraview and to see the time vary dot form. Then we can see whether our temperature boundary condition is working. All right, so let's go to time varying cavity form. And we'll expand the screen. Look at the time. Look at the uh, sorry temperature. All right, we don't skip zero time now. We look at the zero time. Okay. Well, zero time has no uh, temperature field yet, so only okay. Time equals one. And let's go through a playthrough of it. Then we'll scale it according to the visible data range, which is now, and then we'll see. So you see the the um, now we see an oscillating kind of a temperature field, like across ten seconds, eleven, which is perfect, and this is what we want. And then we see the the natural convection go up and down, up and down, up and down. So there is uh, some sort of a success in this sense. So the, uh, the temperature feels oscillating and then we see some convection current going on. Okay. So um, this is what the transient uh, boundary condition looks like. Um, there will be some convection field and then uh, some changing of temperature and then we see some oscillating effects at the bottom. Okay. So it takes some time to load each, uh, each uh, profile, but uh, you know, by and large, this is a more or less a successful simulation. Of course, we haven't validated any of the data, but it is successful. All right. So you can see some turbulence there, which is great. Um, this is what we expect um, because there is a natural convection being set up uh, from like four to six hundred degrees C, and then the other side is cold. So we do see some convection currents, and then the temperature is just oscillating up and down, up and down, up and down. Perfect. Okay, so um, yeah, 
this is a successful case and the the uh, file is on github and we have learned a lot from debugging so basically we need to be very wary of our fv schemes and fv solution when we copy and paste over so that the temperature fields can calculate properly okay and uh yeah so of course the next thing we want to look at in our next video i mean this is just uh reporting on what the results look like and it's oscillating up and down which is great and, it, and you see how long the simulation actually took which is also great um when the temperature yeah when the temperature oscillates up and down next thing we want to do is of course uh, take a look at the heat flux right we want to do a see whether time varying heat flux is possible with open form a time varying heat flux boundary condition and uh, probably we may run into some bugs again which we might want to debug later on and we want to use the uniform uh gradient what is this uniform gradient value or something like that so vi system i oh know zero and t instead of uniform fixed value we try to use uniform fixed gradient and then we'll put in a uniform fixed gradient kind of uh, files there in csv format and it's working correctly the number of header lines the reference column all, all these are working right so perfect it's working exactly the, the way we want it to so yeah still very happy with this uh simulation yeah so um it looks pretty good and we have uh, gone through a hundred seconds of it and let's see again loop and then let's play and i think we should skip zero time all right, we should skip zero time because there's nothing there. So let's loop and play, and we can see, we can see the the yeah the first time round it, it loads it's a bit slow. So yeah, we can see the temperature fields actually changing, and then we see this oscillating thing at the bottom, uh, which is great. Um, all right, there's some turbulence there. That thing of a jig, and uh, we can see uh, surface with edges. See how fine the mesh is. Okay, I'll find the meshes. That's probably why it takes so long to calculate, right? So that that's how fine the mesh is. Okay, it's a pretty fine mesh. Uh, so let's do a surface, all right? And let's take a look at the velocity. Ah, velocity would be an interesting profile to study. So you can see um, the magnitude of velocity kind of uh, oscillates with time. And let's see a uh, thing the UY ui okay so there's always this convection current coming around but you see you can see there's a period of instability due to the oscillations that are coming in which is a beautiful effect to take a look at if you think about it haha <laughs> yeah so that's ui ux okay there is some ux velocity all right again uh, due to oscillations and let's see whether there's a uz okay there is something as well which is okay great that, that's how it should be it's very turbulent um and i think uh, that's 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 what we have um for this uh, simulation uh with uh open form time varying boundary condition uh with temperature boundary conditions oscillating up and down with a sine wave okay we can of course do in different profile inputs as well with the csv file you can do anything you want just know that it's uh, linearly interpolated, so that's what you got to take note of, or else you specify your own interpolation schemes. Yeah, um, yeah, you specify your own interpolation schemes in the boundary condition, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is a short video. Just want to report some results. Next video, we can take a look at other things. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.